took almost a year. I think it was like a year before they connected the bridges. There was, um, I forget, five or six bridges downtown, and um, they had condemned one of them. And that was the only bridge that made it through the flood. And it hadn't been torn down yet, but the, the communication and everything was totally off. Um, there are pictures, big panoramic pictures, um, and you can look at them with a magnifying glass and you see people out on porches looking downtown at what was going on. Um, it's, it's just stunning. I mean, the, what was the, the penitentiary was downtown, um, uh, and after, you know, they, they tried getting prisoners out and relocated, but things happened so quickly, there wasn't time to do a lot of planning. That's, that's why there was so much loss of life. And, and people came from Buckeye Lake with their boats to uh, help rescue people. And um, uh, there was a story about one of the rescuers being electrocuted. Um, I mean, it, uh, I have copies of all the newspapers, the front pages of all the newspapers. And um, it, it's just unbelievable. Every day they, they put in there that you know, so many people have been found and that's, these are their names and these are the names of the dead so far. And ironically, the hilltop had just had um, uh, a brand new fire station built. It was right here at uh, Station 17, right at the hilltop. And its very first day in, in operation, it was used as a morgue. So, um, you know, the, the hilltop was a big part in the rescue of, of uh, people from the 1913 flood and then, of course, the dead. And um, uh, the firehouse in, the, in Franklinton was completely underwater. Um, and oddly enough, I think there were fires. You know, even with all, all this chaos and the weather system and so forth, and, and you know, things still happen like fires. It was so cold that um, so many people, they didn't want to leave their homes or they didn't have time, and they just went all the way up and all the way up, and a lot of them ended up in the attic, and that was, that was the last point. That and the roof was the last point of um, salvation for them. And they stayed up there for quite a while because it took a long time for the water to go down. But you can still see water lines on the buildings downtown, or down in Franklinton. And, um, you know, that involved uh, Mount Carmel Hospital. And just think of all the uh, businesses uh, that were uh, in Franklinton. And it, it was a very busy place. Um, we have pictures of what... Uh, Columbus looked like in 1913, and you know a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, tenement housing down along the river. You can see laundry being hung out, and and uh, just think of all those uh, hundreds of thousands of people being put out of their homes or trying to survive in the, in the attic, and um, uh, and it was not exactly spring. It was very winter-like. Um, 